Okay, this video is for grade 7 and we're talking about concentrated and dilute solutions. I've made a saturated solution of this drink mix. You can see it's saturated because no more will dissolve. It's just plain old uh, Kool-Aid mix here. So I've made a saturated solution and I'm going to dilute it by adding more and more solvent to it, more and more water. So I'm going to dilute it half and half all the way down here and I'll show you how that's done. I'm going to take my saturated solution and add it to uh, the same amount of water. So I'm going half and half here. Try not to spill it because it's pretty sticky stuff. And we're just going to go down the line. I'm going to keep, oh, I'll just add a little bit more here. So, I've made half and half solution. It was half solvent, half my solution, so it's at half strength. And then I'm going to take my half strength solution and dilute it in half again. Put it to there. So now it's quarter strength. And we'll do it again. And you might be noticing that the color is kind of becoming less intense as we go down the line. So half strength, quarter strength, eighth. And we keep going. One sixteenth. And then we dilute it in half again. So think about your math. What would this one be? And we take it again. Down the line we go. Got a few more here we can do. We're getting really, really pale on the pink here. You can hardly see it at all. Until we get to here. And here we have the most dilute solution. There's very little of our solute in here. We can't even see the pink color. So let's just take a look. You can see we've gone down this progression from very pink and we get paler and paler and paler as we get less and less solute in our solution. We can see the color gets less how do you think this would taste? Which one would taste the most intense? Which one do you think would be pretty watery? Okay, so here are some things we can, you know, relate to. I think we've all made Kool-Aid mix. So we've got saturated and we've got concentrated solutions at this end. And as we go down the line, we get more and more dilute solutions till it's almost to water. I think there's still any particles in that last one. Let's think about that. 